Hi, I'm Alex Archbull, and I've been buying and selling antiques since I was nine years old. From basements to scrapyards, I'll look just about anywhere I can to find lost antiques and collectibles. And sometimes I'll go big and buy everything. I never know what's going to happen or who I'm going to meet. This is our life, this is our adventure, and this is Curiosity Inc. I'm home, honey! Hello, everybody, and welcome to uh, officially episode one of what's going to be a pretty crazy series. Uh, last week, I was invited out to this house to buy a few things, and I ended up buying everything inside of a hoarded house. Now, as you can see around me, there is stuff piled everywhere. Every room is packed completely full. Um, we have only, uh, well, we have about a month about a month and a half to get this place completely cleared out. And there are some spaces, there's rooms we can't even access. There's a whole bedroom back there that you can't even see. Um, so this is day one, step one, of us trying to uh, start the clear out. At the end of November, this has to be completely emptied out. That's gonna be my job. I'm be working with um, uh, Patrick. Uh, my wife and kids will be helping out at some point but there's an awful lot of work to do. I guess let's start with a little bit of a walkthrough around the house and I'll, t I'll tell you all about what my plan is for dealing with such a big mess such as this. The first part of my plan is to have really good friends. Patrick, the ghost. Hey, I was looking at your sweater. That made me laugh earlier. Last time you and I did a house clear out together, that was a potter's house. Yep. And then you moved away to Ontario, but you're back now. I am. You are back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, back in full force now. Yeah, back in full force. Um, so this is the mission. The They have been clearing this house for a number of weeks or perhaps a month or so already, and it's still this full upstairs. The goal uh, is I have to get all the furniture hauled out of here next week. Uh, I have um, Kastner Auctions, which at the end of this video series... We'll be doing uh, a couple big auction sales. One probably for the furniture and perhaps another for the uh, all the other antiques and collectibles that we find. Like that light, right? <laughs> um, anyway, I'm just there's stuff all over the place. We need space to work. To do that, I have a plan. Uh, one of these bedrooms is almost emptied out. Oh, no, I lied. Oh, that's nice. That's a cool... Hutch, it's kind of weird walking around now knowing that I own everything in here. Um, we're going to try and empty one of these bedrooms out and make one bedroom uh, set aside for stuff that's going to go to charity. And we'll have them come and do a pickup. And we'll find another bedroom. Oh, man. Even emptying out a bedroom seems like a daunting task right now. We'll find another bedroom to put stuff that's going to be saved or salvaged. But, um, gosh, it's a lot more full than I expected. I mean, I, we did the walk around before. We weren't even able to access some of these other rooms. So it's anybody's guess woo -hoo -hoo -woo, uh, what we're going to find hidden in corners and buried underneath things. Um, this is a daunting task. Oh, look, there's a Cabbage Patch Kid box. I saw the doll somewhere else. If I could put that back together. Okay, I got to stop uh, doing the cursory search, but... There are a couple benefits to this place over others that I've done. One big benefit, there's electricity. There's electricity, look at that. Um, the other thing is it has a working furnace and one washroom that will flush as long as we turn the, uh, the water off at the toilet every time we use it. <laughs> um, so it does, it's actually a functioning property in that sense. So we're not gonna uh, kill ourselves in here like I did at the Potter's house where there was no heat uh, same with Betty Jones' place. It was just a nightmare. It doesn't look like there's any... Uh, I have not seen any evidence of uh, rodents or things of that nature. Um, so it's a pretty clean work environment. That said, I am bringing a box of gloves in here for us to use. Uh, but the work is going to start now. So stay tuned for what's going to be a very big series as I empty out this entire house. Two-story big house with multiple garages and stuff full. Um, and we see if we can recoup our investment back. So uh, the money that was given... We paid 20,000 Canadian dollars for everything in this house. Uh, now I've got to work hard to get that money back again. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy this series. Let's get rolling. So let's start with a walkthrough video. We've got the main entrance, which 
they've cleared you can see that there used to be stuff piled on here from the marks on the carpet they've cleared that off already we've got some clothes and stuff in the closet which we'll go through I'm just doing sort of a little walk around now so you guys can see what's going on. A couple of trunks sitting there. The uh, living room area is stacked full of antique furniture. And we have uh, what looks to be a nice antique dining room table underneath here. With the chairs, we've got a nice round glass curio cabinet back there. Another curio cabinet over there, a clawfoot uh, piano stool upside down. Uh, some really nice antique uh, style or antique carved wood ornate sofas. There is a uh, wraparound style right here. And then we've got two other uh, love seats back there. Really fancy side chair, uh, little sitting stool. So the uh, this would have been the dining room area. It's completely packed. Into the kitchen. Well, same thing. There's stuff all over the place. And I don't know if they've cleared out. No, they've not. So the kitchen cupboards are completely full. And my goal is to try and minimize the amount of stuff that is going to end up in a landfill. But some things like expired foods and that are going to end up there. I'm looking right now to see if there's any uh, Pyrex or things of that nature. Oh yeah, look, right there. I think that's uh, that's gonna be Corningware right there. Tons of Halloween candy. <laughs> it's almost the season. I'd feel bad giving that out to kids now. Lots of cookies and stuff. Okay, exploration to be done in the kitchen and all these boxes. Uh, and this was uh, somebody who obviously really liked to shop. So there's lots of things that are new in the box too, like the Christmas Angel, this Bass Pro Shop. Um, white river outdoor world i guess it's like a little miniature christmas village for a bass pro shot the bedrooms like i think i just showed this one has some nice furniture which is good nice uh nice old dressers are they full or empty oh thank goodness they're empty tons of pictures uh, another dresser there. There's one here. Jewelry box. Oh, no. Fork and knife set. Another one. Cherry cabinet. It looks like they were trying to sell it at one time. There's the knob for it. it needs to be screwed back on. $200 is what they were trying to get for it. Or what they paid for it. I don't know which is which. A little curio cabinet there. It looks like there's a washroom around the corner. Completely stacked full of antique china. Yeah, that's kind of cool. That's got dragons on it. Grafton China made in England. It's got this cool dragon pattern on it. it. Looks like the whole set's in there in the box. So they were stashing china in the, in the washroom. And this looks like it's more tiny here. Oh, okay. Upstairs bedroom number two. Nice uh, stacking lawyer's bookcase right there. More of a 1940s kind of style, but still, that's a nice sellable piece. Portable record players. Wait. There's a lockbox here. And it sounds like there's something in it. Let's see if I can find the key or if I can open it. Maybe I'll find some uh, actual, oh, <laughs> I was like, maybe it's full of money. No, nope. but I wouldn't be surprised if we have a few uh, surprises in this place. There's, you know, nobody's really gone through many of these boxes other than the people who were deceased. There's another stacking lawyer's bookcase. This bedroom, I don't know what this is. It looks like a like a tackle box, but it's got makeup and stuff in it. Christmas ornaments. Hmm. Well, that TV cabinet, that's probably a donate to charity thing. I don't think that's sellable for auction, but it looks like there's a chair or something back there. A, just a lot of boxes. That's the nice thing is that everything already has boxes. Everything's in a box. 
look at this. The first box I open up, one of the first, is full of antique Christmas lights and decorations, like the old glass balls. I know that uh, folks watching at home always like that stuff. Look, there's even a... I hate it when it snows on my French toast. Okay. A little uh, Snoopy dog bowl. That's cute. That'd be cute for my dog. <laughs> but uh, again, pretty much all this stuff is going to be going at auction. Uh, so if in the period that uh, we are unwrapping things, if you see things that are of interest, just keep that in mind that you'll be able to bid on this stuff from home and they'll ship it out pretty much anywhere. Patrick, I'm just going to do a tour of the basement and then we'll get started. Oh, look, there's more stuff. VHS tapes. Yeah, there's stuff wrapped up. Now, sometimes old uh, TV trays and that can be collectible. And they had put some stuff up top that they thought I might be interested in. Is that actual silver? It looks like a paperweight. It would be marked silver if it was actual silver, yeah, I would think. It was one Troy Pound, but it doesn't say it was one Troy Pound what? Does it say? Does it have a... It doesn't say silver. Where does it say one Troy? Oh, yeah. One Troy Pound proof. It is tarnishing like silver. It's wrapped. Well, did I just... Did we just find a pound of silver? <laughs> that might go... That's a top pocket find right there. Actually, in my case, it's going to be a back pocket find. Hang on. They also had said that at one point the family had owned a uh, gun and ammunition shop back in the old days. And they said, you might want to look in this little case. And so uh, you look inside this case and look, I think, I don't know if it's a Derringer, but it's a tiny little uh, pistol, 1800s. Antique. Look at the size, of these miniature little bullets that are there. That is like a Derringer style pistol, like a little itsy bitsy pistol. So uh, in a custom made nice little wooden box, you know. So, I mean, that could be worth, you know, six or seven hundred bucks, maybe up to a thousand dollars Canadian. I'm, I'm not too sure. I'll have to look up the marks on it. But finding cool stuff already. So I'm going to have to make a pile. Or maybe I'll use one of these bins that got left behind and I'll put my very special things to bring back with this. Um, right. I'm getting distracted by looking at the stuff and I'm supposed to be doing a tour for the folks at home. Let's go downstairs. This is where they pretty much, I don't want to say gave up, but we're like, okay, this is enough. They didn't want to tackle any of this down here. And I kind of don't blame them. Um, there is a whole bedroom back there over on that side. This is when you say like it's stacked to the roof. People don't understand until you're in the situation. That's the top of a door. You can't even see there's a whole other hidden bedroom down there. Um, there's a lot of really good furniture here. Please work lights. There's one light that works. There's furniture all in this room that's going to have to go. That's a really nice carved, um, uh, settee or, or desk. Very art deco looking. Oh, geez. My, I gotta turn my light on so you guys can see. I'm explaining this nice furniture and the, the light wasn't on, but this is a really interesting piece of furniture. It might, it almost ha has like speaker grill material, but that is a really funky desk. You guys see that? That's super cool. Or nightstand. Somewhere in here, there's going to be a, uh, Crossman BB gun. All of these boxes are full of antiques, collectibles, collections of some sort, typewriters, uh, you know, there's a nice general store cabinet over there that I saw last time. It's like a second suite down here because this would have been the rec room because there's the fireplace. This is like the rec room, living room area. That looks like another little sitting area where you can have like a poker table or dining table. I see some big chairs down here, some big piece of furniture, antique lamps. And this is, there's a lot of stacked furniture back here that's got to go upstairs. Um, and that's got to be our priority this week is to get this stuff all out. 
Oh, yeah. So that means all these boxes are going to need to go up and there's a garage hey there's a patch you look just like this other guy <laughs> you look like this guy i just saw this is a garage where i think they did uh, garage sales from there's uh, vintage clothing there's household goods like just kind of generic stuff but then again i say generic stuff back here and hidden underneath all these boxes is a nice roll top desk and beyond that curtain is a whole other wing, a whole other room that I know the, the giant, uh, like eight foot tall or seven foot tall predator statues back there that they paid almost $10,000 for. I think they paid 8,900 bucks for that thing. So Patrick, I think <coughs> we'll tackle the garage later. I think the first thing we need to do is start clearing boxes from, oh, look, there's another nice oak table right there. Yeah, there's the Predator there. They were selling it for, it was purchased. Who knows if they got a better deal on it, but looks like they got it at some kind of specialty shop. $8,000 for this massive Predator. Um, All right, Pat. It's time for us to start getting to work. And that means um, first order of business. Uh, I need to arrange for a dumpster. And we need to start hauling boxes upstairs. It begins now. So the first thing I'm doing is kind of grabbing stuff that looks like it's garbage. Like, unfortunately, I can't re-gift re or sell a, a used cat bed. That'd be gross. Empty shoe box. Well, maybe that'll come in handy, put something in later. But for the most part, I'm just going through and I'm trying to figure out what is garbage what can be donated and what can be saved. Um, so like old box lids and stuff like that, that can go. And as I make these sort of uh, garbage and, and donate piles, I'll get Patrick to come back, follow up, and uh, we'll put some of this stuff outside. So hoodies and coats and sweaters, that can be donated. Um, we'll try and do a couple charity runs today and, uh, and get rid of some of the trash and clean up but you know for the most part a lot of the stuff in here looks like it's uh somewhat usable so hopefully we'll be able to save a lot of this stuff from hitting the dumpster and uh, get it back into good homes again but uh it's gonna take me a while to get this little uh even just this one area cleared out here but wish me luck <laughs> okay let's go through this box by box we've got a purse full of purses. Any brand names? Not that I can see. Leopard print. Well, somebody can probably use a box full of purses. Um, Luckily, a lot of these are boxes within a box, so I can pull that out of there and then reuse that box somewhere else, the, the lid. Oh, okay. All right. Patrick's got the first box going up. Uh, that's a box of purses, which I could probably sell or donate. This is a box of candy, which, uh, what year is it from? Who knows? But I don't think it would be safe to uh, try and consume or give this to anybody. Unfortunately, it's got to be old because look, two dollars off uh, your Fuji film. <laughs> How old is this? When was the last time you got uh, candy that had a two dollar off offer when you get your uh, Fuji film developed? I'm guessing that's pretty old candy. So, uh, Patrick, this bin is going to be all garbage, unfortunately. But I'll hand that to you so you can empty that out, and we'll we'll keep the bin and use it somewhere else. It's got some weight to it. I was like, well, maybe it's from like this year. Nope. It's not from this year. It's been down here for probably a, when was the last time people used film? Forbidden candy. Forbidden candy. Oh, forbidden candy. Oh, these are. Big cloth rolls. I might set that inside in case that's for something else. Plastic, that's garbage. Patrick is upset that the Sour Patch Kids have gone bad. <laughs> Starburst. And Starburst. Yeah, all the old candies that we used to love. 
Uh, I'm putting a pile of garbage stuff on the uh, by the step there, Pat. I'll keep going through this and see what I can find. Oh, massive Canadian Club whiskey bottles, a whole box of them. It's even got the big dispensary pump. A lot of people had these things in their uh, rec rooms and stuff on display. Not full. <laughs> That's, that'd be some big boxes of whiskey, but that is sellable. Somebody will buy that. So that'll go up in the uh, keeper pile. Okay. The box, brand new extension cord. Oh, I see. Electronic mastermind. And billionaire. The game of global enterprise. And look. When you're rich enough, you can have a model train set on your desk, too, and wear a jumbo ring. That's some old board games. That's kind of neat. That's got to be from the 70s or probably 80s, I'm guessing. Darn it, I'm going to be finding a lot of good stuff. It's not going to be very easy to fill up a dump bin. The Yeah, that box uh, and that one... Maybe that uh, that box will keep to put stuff in, but the big ultra memory foam box that can go because it's hard to put stuff in it. Um, and I think the, the whiskey bottles are sellable so they can go like in the living room or in the bedroom somewhere. This box looks like it's mostly sellable stuff too. Actually, it's all old board games. The game of life. I, you know, I used to love playing that game and I would always pick the uh, country manor at the end is where I wanted to live. And guess where I live now? In a country manor. Well, maybe not a manor, but a country home. Thank you, Game of Life, for setting me on the course. <laughs> that whole box is Keeper, actually. That's all board games. As I'm starting to clear stuff from this basement hallway, I realize there's not one, but two hidden bedrooms down here that I can't even get in yet. Look, hidden rooms. Woo! And another hidden room. Oh, and another room. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty important for me to clear this hallway out. I'm hoping that uh, I don't find the uh, cat in here that belongs to all these cat toys I've been finding. Hopefully the cat made it out. AM, FM, radio, TV. What? Is it in there? Check this out. It's a TV and it's an AM FM radio and it comes in black and white and it's in there still. It's like brand new. <laughs> Remind me not to blow the dust off of anything in this house. Well, that's something we can sell. How much was this thing new? Probably in the eighties or whenever this is from $139.99. Those 99 cent price points. That's marketing gimmickry. Good thing it's one penny off. Don't worry, honey. It was only $100. Not $139.99. That'll go in the living room, probably. Rotisserie convection oven. This box feels heavy. I think this thing is... I think it's in here. Yep. It Not only is it in here, it's never been out of the plastic. It's brand new still. Brand new brevetti. It sounds Italiano. So it must be good. Because when I think of Italians, I think of rotisserie chicken. But uh, I don't know, is Brevetti a brand name or is that like one of these Walmart kind of brands? Who knows? Somebody at home knows. It didn't come with the chicken. But it is brand new still. I think it was like a home shopping thing. This makes me a little bit concerned. You see that? What? Something kind of acidic or something is eating its way through the bottom of this box. Oh, it looks like they had cleaners in here. Yep, Javex bleach. Can't leave your bleach bottles for years and years because it'll eat its way right through the, the container. Look at that. So that's bleach that spilled out and ate its way through whatever is under that box. And what did it eat its way through? I'm actually, this is gonna go in the trash because I don't need that. Did it destroy whatever was in here? Be very careful. More cleaners. One thing I know is people who have very uh, full houses, let's say, often have a lot of cleaners as well. It's like they know it needs to be cleaned up, but it just never really happens. 
more board games. You got the original Trump board game. And a bunch of... That's a big box. I'll have to move that one separate. Nothing like crystallized bleach in the morning to wake you up. No. What's in the box? When was it packed? What year is this from? Well, there's a website on it, so it can't be that old. Printed on November 4th. Don't know what year. Okay. Sometimes you can look at the newspapers and see when something was packed up. This looks like it's mainly uh, blankets. Moving blankets. Furniture. Just sort of generic blankets. Okay. Nothing too special about that. That is a moving blanket, though. Hey, I think I found a CD for us to listen to on the way home. Cats meow Christmas. <laughs> We wish you a merry kitty, O oh come all ye Persians. Tabbies, we have heard on high. <laughs> and look, there's one for dogs too. All oh, I woof for Christmas. Bark, the Herald Beagles come. Oh my gosh, this is going to be the absolute <laughs> worst. We'll be playing it on loud all the way home. <laughs> oh, where's your sense of adventure? I don't hate you. I'm giving you a life experience. It, it, you know, the, the scarring experience is the ones you remember the most. <laughs> yeah, I won't sing Talking Heads to you this time. Look what was at the bottom of the Trump box. Stop Thief. It's a good 70s game. It was one of the first electronic games, too, which uh, had this thing when I was a kid. So a couple of these in Masterpiece, I think I had somebody last video, they're like, oh, I've been looking for that for years. So uh, the board games I'll probably uh, keep and sell. But maybe we'll take this box upstairs and I'll sift through it after. Sorting through this bin, we got a green fashion blanket. Brand new in the bag. So, I mean, nothing wrong with that. Some doilies. And there's something wrapped up in here, something big, wrapped up in uh, bathroom towels, like a statue or what am I looking at? What is this thing? It's a, uh... oh, I'm not going to turn it around because I think it's a lady that might have lost her clothes. Apparently somebody felt that was worth saving. <laughs> I wonder what kind of marks you get in pottery class in school if you... Look, teacher, what I made! You used to like... Mm, we're going to talk to your parents, but my dad's the one who gave me the mold. Anyway, that happened. We'll put that somewhere else and keep digging. Underneath the uh, massive naked lady statue, purple bath mat, and a giant bronze horse. It's ceramic, but it's like painted bronze metallic paint. That I can sell. But I'm trying to envision how this person decorated their house exactly. <laughs> Maybe in the 70s it was like, you know, crushed velvet curtains and I don't know. Anyway, this we can do something with. That we can sell. Is this signed or anything on the bottom? Okay, it's got a signature on the bottom of it. So it's... Uh, let's see, anything else? Pull in here, some throw pillows, little sheep, cow, blinds. Oh, it looks like an antique picture. What does it say? Niagara Falls from the 1930s. A picture of Niagara Falls from the 30s. And it looks like they paid 30 bucks at a yard sale for it. Boink. 1937. Well, that's kind of neat. The falls are lit up and it's, you know, before it was super touristy. It's been almost an hour that we've been at this, and so far I can almost get to this bedroom door that was buried. There's been a lot of bags of garbage. Um, haven't found any real big treasures or anything yet, but lots of good usable stuff that can go. Did find this Italian, I'll flip the camera around and show you. In the 70s, like the whole swords and shield stuff was super popular. I can almost guarantee that set was laid out over top of the fireplace. It's quite big. So there's a little sh sword and shield set there. 
Um, did uh, somewhere, where did it go? Rubber gloves, blue nitrile gloves. Uh, there's a box of corning wear around here somewhere. Uh, so I'm finding a few things, but I'm trying to get this whole area cleared out so I can access all these other rooms. Um, and so far it's slow going. Thank goodness for Patrick. At this stage, finding rubber gloves in garbage bags is actually kind of, uh, kind of nice. <laughs> I can keep using those kitchen catchers, fabric softener and stuff. Spotlight. So just household cleaning stuff. Lots of kids books going back. There's some old golden books, not that old, but those can be given away to a youngster. So that'll go in the donate pile. Finding bags and bags of footwear. A lot of them use, but then some are like new, like these ladies Pumas and other various sorts of running shoes that are in here. So, so we'll set those aside, donate or chuck the ones that can't be dealt with. One of them was all flip-flops. And I said to Patrick, maybe they couldn't decide what pair they wanted. They flip-flopped. An hour in, and this is how far I've gotten. Loads of stuff out to the trash. Some stuff sorted, but really just trying to access these other rooms. And I think I determined... I wonder if there's a light switch for this other room over here somewhere. Oh, look at this. The Kissin' Prince. Now he's the king. The packaging of the next King of Canada. <coughs> this is from 1979. Right next to, are you spoiling your kids rotten? <coughs> oh my gosh, that dust is starting to get to me. It's kind of funny, I'll set that aside. I've determined that this isn't a bedroom after all. It was a sauna. And I see one marked Mum Stuffed Animals over there. There's a nice cunard line steamship uh, trunk. Looks like shoe boxes. Shoe boxes. Somebody liked their shoes. There's nothing in them. Okay, now that I'm in the sauna, gift wrap. See. What are these? Headlights. Eight millimeter projector, this says. That's what it is. Film projector. Just give me a second, Pat. I'm going diving in here. Maybe to hang out in case I, uh, what I should do, I'm going to have to make this, I can't even walk back here. I think it's been a while since somebody's been back here. There's like old school TVs and Okay. It is collectible, okay. That one's collectible, so we'll set that aside. Empress Marmalade, it's a keeper. Not too much. Blue ribbon baking powder, that's a keeper. Magic baking powder, people do tin cans, but only certain ones. Popcock. Others are just plain poppycock. I'm seeing if there's any can Bartlett pears. Let's see. You be careful because the lips on these can be quite sharp too. Poppycock too. I'm going to sandwich any skins that are somewhat collectible. I really like their poppycock. That's a little bit better. Tobacco tin. The rest of this stuff is just kind of generic. Okay, underneath the tins, looks like camera gear. Okay, that's garbage. Thanks, Pat. Eaton's of Canada. Looks like a bunch of camera cases and they feel heavy. You wanna open that one up and see what's in there? Sure. I'm, I'm hoping a camera this time and not, <laughs> not to- uh, I'm not sticking my hand in. Last time we went in the camera case, it was lube and stuff. Uh, oh, look, a little uh, movie project, uh, film camera. What brand is it, Yashica? Yeah, Yashica. Yeah. Cool, eight millimeter. 
movie camera. There's actually a whole bunch of stuff in here. Oh, there's another, oh, there's an old school. Like 1990s. Okay, this whole box might be good. So we can put this box in the living room. It still has film? Yep, still has film. Okay. Unopened. Unopened film, you got that. Once I get this last box out of the way, I can actually walk in here, which will be a real treat. Old egg beater, old house light fixtures. That's the top of a Torshare lamp right there. That is Medelta Potteries, collectible. Early Medelta Potteries vase. Seem to be in good shape. That's a box of collectibles, that's, that's good. Okay, I, I can walk back here now. I'll move this old paper out of the way. I can walk into the sauna. Ooh. Yeah, it's got the uh, wood walls. You got your switch, I'm not gonna turn that on. That would suck. Uh, sheets and pillowcases, bowls. Look at all the, are there actually shoes in here? Are these brand new, like 1980s shoes? Well, that's just a box, but it looked like something was in some of these. What is going on? These brand new, you know, that's got, that's our Reebok. What is going on? Oh, Nike Air. Well, that would be good if I found like a pair of old school Nikes. Nope, she's got her pumps in there, but they're brand new as well. Hmm. But there might be some old school Nike Airs around here somewhere, which would be a good find. Oh, there's stuff behind here. Oh my goodness. Hey, there's a Christmas tree, Patrick. Didn't you say you needed a Christmas tree? Yeah. Well, we got you a Christmas tree if you want it. You can have it for free. Christmas decor. Huh. Oh, there's an old light bright right there. Some kind of little dollhouse. Best friends. So while I was looking through the footwear, uh, maybe I'll take one of those box lids. You know what I should be doing is I shouldn't be sorting this room yet because this doesn't even go into... Uh, what we're up to. I guess I just want to peek my head in here. That doesn't sound as exciting. A box of socks. You never know. It could be code. Maybe it says it's a box of socks, but that's where they kept all, all the treasure. <laughs> rare tin can. I wonder what they considered a rare tin can to be. I just see a headlight in here. I don't see a tin can at all. This is on the bottom. Oh, I see. I see. Now oh, you gotta look. That's an old tobacco tin. Dixie Queen plug cut tobacco. Ooh, have a junk lanch happening in the other room. So that's an old uh, tobacco tin that looks like a picnic basket. That's cute. Car headlight. Because, yeah, hey, you never know. And what's this? Plastic forks. Okay. The remainder of that box can go in the trash. And I'm going to work my way out. Oh, pile of clothes. So that's, oh, you found a light in there. So that's a bathroom. And it looks like the bathroom door goes into the sauna, too. Another desk. Yeah, a lot of uh, like Reader's Digest and books and stuff. Mm. Okay, this is where we have to start tunneling, is here. So now that we've moved some stuff, if you're okay hauling that stuff out to the trash, I'm gonna keep tunneling. This is for canning. That's a uh, enamel canning container right there. Melissa, actually, my wife uses one of those that used to be my grandma's, and we're still using it today. 
but somebody else would probably want one too. These plastic totes will come in handy. Okay, oh yeah, that's a good bin. That we don't need. I know I've got to stop getting excited about the uh, plastic bins, but trust me, when you're moving this much stuff out of a house, it comes in very handy. Just cheap kind of tablecloths. Boink. Oh, here's the uh, box for, I think, the laptop that Patrick bought last time. Hey, Patrick, I think I found the box for your laptop. Is it a compact? Well, maybe we're going to find another laptop around here somewhere. There's a box for a compact Presario notebook. But maybe there's more computers to be found. The dust is uh, picking up a little bit here. I got to try and clear this little section now. And uh, really just want to get to this back room so we can start getting some of that furniture out for uh, next week. Wow. I found a box of 1980s clothes including this little denim vest and that pink jumper, which I almost guarantee were worn together at some point. Mm, people buy old clothing. Some old button fly acid wash jeans in there. So I'll keep that aside because somebody will buy retro vintage clothing. So that will keep. Well, I can actually walk into this room now and look what I found. Straight from the Griswold's Christmas vacation. <laughs> <laughs> one of these little uh, discs for going down a snow hill on. We'll just have to spray ceramic coating all over it and maybe I'll go down the hill. <laughs> I will set that aside. My kids actually might want to play with that this winter if I build them a snow hill in the backyard. But look, can I actually open this closet door? What am I going to find? Look, there's a grabber. What's going to be in the closet door? Oh, darn, I still can't open it yet. It's still blocked. Found this in the corner. Millefiori Gucci. It looks like it's liquor with a willow tree inside of it. Box sick. It's still got alcohol in it. Don't know that I trust that. That'd be one flammable little tree after all those years. Okay, let's see what's in the closet. Is there anything? I'll be shocked if it's empty. No, it's not empty. It's not super full, though, at least. Oh, no! It goes way behind the stairs. <laughs> I lied. It is super full. I thought it was just this little bit of stuff right here. We got shoes. Some Tupperware, it looks like. Oh, vacuum accessories. For their Electrolux, which might be around the house somewhere. Another big box of shoes, probably the Reeboks that came out of those boxes. Maybe, I am looking for those Air Jordans though. Rubber boots. Lot, everybody's had a set of these at some point. My dad used to call them gum boots. What did your dad call rubber boots, Patrick? Rubber boots. Yeah, no, my dad called them gum boots. It must have been, maybe it was an advertising thing. Okay. I'm tunneling. Pint sealers, rings and lids. Looks like a lot of jars. Nice puzzles. Carrying bags, winter boots. Oh yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Oh look, there's an antique doll pram down here. Big one too. Court sealers. Purses, school cap, carrying bag. Some old clothes. What's in here? Delicate glasses. And more teacups and the like. Where am I going to find the a stash of jewelry. Maybe there isn't one, but house this full is bound to be something cool somewhere. Well, we haven't really got to anything super cool yet, but in time, so far it's just a lot of garbage more than anything. Okay, 
I'm gonna leave that. Okay, I can get in this room a little easier now. There's a nice table turned upside down right here. I feel like this room, there's only the one light that works. This room feels like it's stashed with perhaps some decent quality antiques and collectibles. There's the uh, vintage sparkling cider still sealed in the box. From who knows when. Cast iron, yeah, I feel like this is, it feels like the contents of a, of an antique store in here. And that's what I'm hoping to be able to dig out. We'll get the furniture out. So I can walk in here a little bit better. But accessing this furniture is going to be a wee bit tricky, to say the least. Does this light work? Yay! <laughs> oh boy, there's a lot of stuff. That'll probably be like the 10th time I've said that in this video, but it's true. I think I see old motorcycle side bags, or saddle bags, right there. These look, those look like, uh, I think they are. Yeah, those are saddle bags. Or maybe they're for a horse. You can use them for a motorcycle, I guess, but these are horse saddle bags the eagle on them. Cool. Oh my goodness, where do I, there's furniture over there, there's desks. Alrighty then. Records. Nice little horse. Okay, to get to this, to get this stuff out of here, oh, something's wrapped up in blankets back there, see that? You know it's going to be slightly better stuff when it's wrapped up in a blanket. Brand new bedding. Okay. I'm going to have to make a path to this because when the guys come, they're not going to be super happy if this is all covered in junk. So, oh, I am uh, able to access the room now, but I'm feeling overwhelmed now that I'm in it and realize just how much work has to happen. Maybe uh, I can convince Patrick to help me carry some of this furniture upstairs once I get some of these boxes of things moved out of the way. Oh, these are old metal uh, duck decoys. A whole box of them. Maybe that's part of the uh, gun shop they had, the hunting store. Okay. Well, sometimes you just got to dig in. And... I guess that means starting to get, uh, first things first, this really nice uh, sideboard or little table. We'll get that moved out of the way. Then I'll have more room in this hallway to clear stuff out. So start moving stuff from one pile to the other. Oh, nice old Coleman lanterns. There's got to be potential. There's got to be promise. There's got to be a reason why someone kept all this stuff. Certainly there must be some value in at least some of it. We shall see. Almost got everything cleared off the top of this dresser. And underneath was a very early Johnny Cash album. There's a few little random ones. And look, it's an advertising sign. For uh, Marilyn Monroe says, yes, I use Luster Cream Shampoo. That's a little metal sign. Now, I don't know if that's a... It's not stamped as a reproduction, but it's in pretty good shape. It looks like the sort of thing that would put out in the 70s or 80s. But what a neat advertising sign that is with Marilyn Monroe on it. Hey, Patrick. Yeah. We'll put this in the special Alex pile where that uh, pistol is. Okay. That's worth me looking up and seeing. It's pretty neat. It was hidden underneath a bunch of these... Box, boxes and things in here. Okay. Now that we can access this desk, which is in remarkably good condition. That is such a funky thing. Okay. Oh, it's on wheels. Yay! That helps. Nothing underneath it, surprisingly. We can maybe move this thing upstairs. And get it out of the way. I'm going to roll it out. Yeah, it's like in, the top's in perfect shape. Okay, I'm going to have to make myself a little bit more room around here if we're going to lift and carry this up. 
it might not look like it from home, but in this room is almost an antique store worth of furniture. I see some mid-century modern flipped upside down there. A couple of really nice mid-century modern end tables. We got a, uh, what looks like a table here or the base of the table. And then the, the top of it's right there. Another table behind it. There's chairs, uh, curio cabinets, general store cabinets, a lot of furniture. And that's supposed to be the priority today. Even the pew over there. I thought it smelled funny down here. <laughs> the old church pew joke. Um, Okay, so uh, next up, I guess we're going to get this little clutter off of here. We'll get the desk out, the table out, and uh, try and get as much furniture moved upstairs ready for pickup as we can. Okay, drag this little antique desk out. Looks like it's got all its little knobs. Thankfully, it's not full of anything. Caster's on the bottom. We'll haul that one upstairs in a bit. And I see a quarter sawn oak... This looks like it would be the side of a roll-top desk. And I see a price tag of $350 marked on it, but why? Okay, that's definitely part of a desk, but is the rest of it going to be back here? I feel like that's part of a roll-top or side cabinet for something. Is there anything in it? Nope. Okay. Oh yeah, this fancy lamp. I think opens up as it gets warm it's kind of cool we're going to do all this small stuff at a separate sale like i said so it's really just focused on getting this big stuff out of here right now cherub lamp back there get this little side cabinet off of here we can get those mid-century oh viking are those speakers i wonder if those are side tables and speakers hmm We'll find out soon enough. Making some progress getting the furniture moved out of this area. Enough that I can walk in here. Uncovered this yellow chair in perfect condition. Some nice wood detail. Somebody's probably upholstered it back in the 70s, but it stood up. A curio cabinet. And then you look back and there's more furniture back in this area here. So um, still haven't even touched this side. And I can see there's some pretty big furniture back in this space, so just keep digging away one little piece at a time. Okay, got this really nice oak sideboard out of the way. Again, very impressed with the condition of the furniture. It's in really nice shape. And I came back here, I found somebody's organ. Pump organ, that is. wonder if it still works. Should. Let's see. In theory, there should be little pump pedals somewhere here. Where are the, where are the bellows? That looks like a rest. Let's see, does that come out somehow? Or does that come down? Hmm. I always thought the pedals were there. Yeah, there's an organ here, but I'll have to see it out in the open before I... See if I can make it go. If you ever come across a tube amp. I come across tube amps. At a like a reasonably priced tube amp? Yeah, I don't know. I've been trying to find a, just a small one. What's under here? Oh, I found a neat old clock. Key wind wall clock, all wrapped up. Nice condition. It looks like they put the finials on the inside and the keys in there. But that's like a nice uh, tall case uh, wall hanging clock. Get that moved out of the way so I can get this. I'm just trying to get this organ moved out of the way so we can get to the pew, so we can get this other stuff out, like coffee table. There's a little bench back there. All the furniture has to be accessible and um, only making a little bit of progress. After clearing the organ out of the way, I found the 57 Chevy VHS rewinder that goes in that box. That's pretty neat. Plus some American muscle cars, 55 Chev. Maybe there'll be more. Who knows? 
the boxes will be a future episode. Right now I'm basically just trying to clear room for furniture, but that's still a pretty good find. I can see the wall in this one area. I have this little cabinet here and I thought, okay, well, it's like a little side table or something, but it's not. Look, when I open it up, it's a Foley and Williams Goodrich Model B sewing machine, treadle sewing machine in a lovely cabinet. Look at this neat system. It's like a bicycle chain to pull it open and close. Just a, as pretty as a button. It appears to be in really decent condition. And we've got spider webs, black mamba. That's a snake. See, and this is all vintage or antique uh, soda bottles. Every single box, which I'll have to go through. I'll open some of these up later. But look, it's a whole wall of old uh, and collectible uh, glass bottles. So somebody was a collector of cans and bottles there's a pile of them back here just a pile okay but i gotta get this out again it's furniture day we're gonna get this out and then we're gonna backfill this area with boxes from over there so that we can access that furniture and anyway what were you saying patrick is like those puzzles where you move the tile around to try and get the one thing in the right place that's what we're doing here pretty much it's probably just called like a tile puzzle or something i can't remember the exact name of it but get this moved out of the way Trying to get this little corner. We Look, we've got floor. Nice. Trying to make it accessible somewhat. Some nice press back chairs. This is that bedding. Um, if any, well, I don't know. It looks like it's brand new. If you need any bedding for the kids or anything. I don't think I do. Okay. <clears throat> but have a look anyway. Oh, I'm going to come crawl back over. I have completely trapped myself here. And I'm trapped by a sewing machine so I'm gonna see if I can wiggle my way around <laughs> there okay freedom that's where I was back in there stacking those boxes back filling where the furniture came from oh yeah an old cast iron pan yeah big big skillet too there's some fancy old uh picture frames in there and what looks like, hmm, oh, like a leather booklet inside of that. What do we got going on here? Well, let's move these chairs out of the way somewhere. Well, the chairs are going to have to go on the moving truck when those guys come. Boy, I would have loved that cab, that, uh, multi-tiered general store showcase is like perfect for collectibles and stuff if i had the space at my house that would be coming home makes me almost want to have a store oh look there's like a santa claus throne there's like a throne chair back there i can kind of see part of it super fancy ornate old chair back there i'm hoping we'll get probably half of my investment back just in the furniture alone it's a lot of good furniture these guys moved up and away. Plus that guy right there. Looks like it's a matching set. Yep. Okay, that's out of the way. We've got cable for toaster or electric skillet of some kind. Cat carrier. Let's hope that's empty. Not many times you find a... Uh, a box and hope it's empty, except for when it's a cat carrier. 12 inch black and white monitor. Look at that home security system. It's pretty old school. What's he shoplifting? Like a bag of chips? Yeah, I'll get those Doritos. <laughs> Who doesn't like Doritos? You'd be caught orange handed if you were stealing, stealing Cheetos. <laughs> we caught him orange handed, orange fingered. Okay, I'm gonna, ooh, I can't move this off until that stuff's off. Okay, I guess I have to clear a little bit more here. I am I really do wanna see, it feels like it's a nice table under there. Some very fancy ornate lamps. Let's see. Yeah, it's a big oak dining room table right there. 
means the legs are probably around here somewhere. Uh, oh, there's another big chair. Look, this is an antique leather chair too, right there. There's boxes stacked on top of it, but that's another chair right there. Okay, let's move some of the stuff out of the way and see what's underneath. Cleared a bunch of the boxes off the top here. Found a uh, brass eagle, I guess it's a wall hanging. A little coffee mill, hand crank style. There's a 1980s looking, uh, 19, oh, 1973 Stanley Cup power play hockey with the box. And am I brave enough to climb up there? I'm trying to get this off. One, two, three. See if I can slide this down. Foam top mattress. Part of some old board games. What's left of them. Got a little squished along the way. Hockey game's cool. As advertised on TV. Well, it looks like it's all in there. Even has the Stanley Cup down at the end, too. Looks like there's another TV. Boy, there's a lot of TVs. Oh, there's a Nintendo. Super Nintendo. Yeah. I don't know if we'll find any games, but I found the system. Yeah, just the Super Nintendo. No, no such luck. Not yet. I mean, I haven't gotten to the other end of this. Mm, what's in here? Gross. I might have to climb up there to get that TV. Hey, Patrick, I think I'm going to climb on top of this to go grab a, a couple things. Maybe I can hand them to you if I can figure out how to get up there. Hell, you. Of course, you got all the side little tins. This is a uh, Pesenka. It's not hand painted, it's a wrapped Easter egg. It's the hand painted ones like that that are actually uh, quite desirable as art. I keep that aside. It's a little fragile, so you know, set the eggs on top of the pile. I'm sure that'll be safe. A little bit more kind of garbagey stuff around here. I'll just hand that back to you. I'm trying to get this TV out of here so we can get the board off of whatever I'm on and they can haul it out of here. I uh, talked to the auction. They're going to come on Sunday from the looks of things, which is good. That's only a couple days away. This thing is in the way. Oh, timber. Nope, oh, not all the way. Thought I lost a lamp. I haven't found a leg lamp yet, have you? This is an old school TV. That's all. I put it in my stash box. Um, that can go with the other electronics outside, unfortunately. Well, I don't know if somebody would buy it. You never know. Hmm. Well, we could try running it through auction and see. Somebody's laundry still in the basket. Okay, I'm going to climb down, pull this board off, see what's underneath. Boy, that chair is super fancy. When we eventually get to it, it has like lion's head uh, carved arms. Oh, and there's another pump organ. No. They don't really sell for anything, they're kind of cool. That big giant chair is of interest. That'll be a neat piece. Another nice table. Okay, well, it's more or less accessible now for them to come and pull furniture out of here, thankfully. See some old uh, maps rolled up on top there too. Those can be kind of cool. It says, uh, British Possessions, Coaling Station map. That must be a really old Canadian map. Yeah, well, I'm a hop down. Yes, I am, because I've done what I needed to do on this side, and that's just make stuff accessible. Well, it's a bit disappointing. This used to be a built-in cabinet, I guess, somewhere, because it's missing the top, or the top is around here somewhere else. It's full of really old 
baby clothes. Little kid stuff. Uh, there's a pile of drawers. But that's uh, old school there. It's probably been down here for a while. Okay. So no need to worry about moving that piece of furniture. It's just this stuff in this area. All right. Well, mission more or less accomplished in this area. There is still some really decent furniture in this garage. And I forgot the whole other garage is full of furniture. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's a mid-century buffet right there. I think that's what it is. I don't think it's a radio. No, no it's just a buffet. If I can box this stuff up, then this could get hauled out of here. And there's another table right there, an oak table. If I could get that cleared off, then that could come out. There's a little serving tray there. Bassinet. The other furniture that's back there, well, that might have to wait for another trip. I don't think we'll be able to fit that in. We don't even know what's in all these boxes. Royal Gala. Hmm. So I guess when we get back, Patrick, we'll clear this stuff off and we'll see what's salvageable. Like this cool 1950s or 40s uh, catcher's mid ashtray. That's neat. I would have bought that if I was at this garage sale. And depending upon the brand, a lot of this stuff might just end up going to uh, charity. So we'll grab some of these empty boxes that are here, but look how much more stuff is back here. There's still a lot to do. So guys, that's it for episode one of this adventure, I guess 1B, because if you want to go back, you can see A, the challenges I had trying to get my truck ready to come, um, which didn't quite pan out the way I hoped. <laughs> um, but also you'll see where I bought all this stuff or where I found all this stuff the first time around and decided to buy it. You know, I realize there's a freezer right there. Mm. There's like a, there's like a freezer. Chest freezer. Chest freezer. That'll be fun to go through. Anyway, uh, Patrick, thank you for all your help today. No Guys, we're going to uh, come back again, get at this right away here. Uh, movers are coming in just a couple days and that's where we'll pick up. Um, actually, no, the next, next part of the adventure, what we'll do is Patrick and I'll actually start to go through some of the boxes upstairs and sort things into well i should just look for treasure so next episode should be fun we're treasure hunting this is going to be a lot of fun going through all this stuff but uh so far some neat things already uh thanks for watching guys subscribe for more episodes subscribe to watch the rest of the series uh you can check out uh patrick patrick you have a youtube channel too right i do what's your youtube channel uh it's, was patrick the ghost um uh, i'll have to post the link though okay anyway we'll put a we'll put a uh, link in the comments there for patrick um and uh guys thanks again for watching we'll see you all soon and bye for now <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh I don't think so. <laughs>